Okay, next example 4. So, given a circuit with two capacitors C1 and C2. Okay, first question, calculate the equivalent capacitance. Okay, equivalent capacitance ni sama maksud dengan total capacitance or effective capacitance. Maksudnya, kita mahu adalah total capacitance, C total. So, kita hanya ada, hanya ada dua capacitors saja dekat sini and these two capacitors are in Okay, in series. So, in series, formula dia adalah C, 1 over C total is equal to 1 over C1 plus 1 over C2. So, C1 adalah 1 exponent negative 6 plus 1 over C2, 2 exponent negative 6, sorry, negative 6. So, the equivalent capacitance will be equal to 0 0.67 micro F. Okay, next one. Okay, calculate the charge on each capacitor. So, we want to find charge on each capacitor, which means, okay, kita ada dua capacitor, so which means we want to find Q1 and then Q2. So, how do we find this Q1 and Q2? Okay, first of all, okay, kita tengok dekat sini since they are in series. Ingat semula, in series, apa yang sama adalah Q total will be equal to Q1, will be equal to Q2. So, kedua-dua charge ni akan sama. So, kita boleh cari adalah Q total here. Which is equal to C total darab dengan V total. So, C total sudah kira tadi 0.67 microfarad darab dengan V total. Okay, voltage dekat sini adalah 50 volt. So, darab dengan 50 and then you will get Q total which is 33.3 micro coulomb. So meaning that Q1 will be equal to Q2 which is equal to Q total which is equal to 33.3 micro coulomb. Okay, tu soalan. Soalan B. Okay, dapat jawapan dia di sini. Okay, last one. Soalan C. Okay, what is the potential difference across each capacitor? So, we want to find V1 and V2. Okay, macam mana cari V1, V2 ni senang sahaja. So, we want to find V1 and then V2, right? Okay, menggunakan um, the same formula in which okay, C is equal to Q over V. So, in order to find V1, so, C1 is equal to Q1 over V1. So, maksudnya sini V1 adalah sama dengan Q1 over C1. So, kedua-dua value ni kita sudah ada. Q1 adalah sama dengan 33.3 microcoulomb divided by C1. Okay, which is equal to 1 exponent 6. So, V1 will be equal to 33.3 volt. So, that will be for V1. So, V2 akan sama dengan Q2 divided by C2. Okay, Q2 adalah sama tadi, which is this value. Kita sudah kira kan? Um, 33.3 exponent negative 6 divided by C2. Okay, C2 adalah, what is the value for C2? 2 exponent negative 6 farad, which is equal to... 16.65 volt. Okay, that will be for V2. Okay, kita, um, there's another, okay, ni adalah jawapan dia. There's another ways that you can find V2. Okay, since kita sudah dapat V1 kan tadi, we have the value for V1 here. So, we can actually find V2 using V total which is equal to V1 plus V2. V total tadi adalah 50, V1 33.3 plus V2. So, boleh cari V2 menggunakan formula ni which is you will get the same um, value. Okay. So, there are two ways in order to find V2. So, that will be the solution for question uh, example 4. Thank you.